everybody, I'm Victoria Okanieski from Moore Sewing Center in Southern California. And I'm here to show you everything that comes out of the box when you purchase a Brother VM5200. Your sewing machine, your power cord, foot control, your um, knee lift, a USB cable, a CD that has all the instructions on your machine, operations manual, quick reference guide, an accessory book, and a guide sheet. Also, you get your embroidery unit, three hoops, four by four, five by seven, eight by 12. You get grids that go inside the hoops. You get some stabilizer, and you also get your dust cover that goes over your machine. In your accessory bag that came with your machine, you have the following items, an eyelet punch, a vertical spool pin, you have a specialty spool cap, you have a large cap, spool cap, two medium spool caps, and a small, a flat disc screwdriver, a cleaning brush, two spool nets, stylist, chalk pencil, extra needles, twin needles, you have um, your quarter inch foot with a guide. You have an adapter with a little screw. You also have a free motion foot and you have a bobbin, your bobbin case cover. This is a bobbin case cover with measurements and this is your bobbin cover for embroidery. Two. Okay, we also got in this large bag here, you got three items. You got bobbin thread, you got your embroidery foot that goes on your machine when, you're, when it's time to embroider, and you also have your embroidery bobbin case. Two. The next bag that came with your machine has the following items. Two screwdrivers, a large and a small, extra needles, scissors, bobbins, bobbin clips, bobbin sensor for pre-wound bobbins, a straight stitch foot, and a straight stitch needle plate, and a bobbin case for bobbin works. Now we have the accessory tray that is attached to your machine. There's a little lever here on the bottom that you're just gonna pull, and the accessory tray comes off just like that. You open this up. And let's go through the feet that are inside the accessory tray. Inside we have the A foot, which is the buttonhole foot. We have the J foot, which is your zigzag foot. We have the G foot, which is your overcast foot. The I foot, which is your zipper foot. R foot, which is your blind stitch foot. And the M foot, which is your button fitting foot. And we also have a seam ripper in there as well. The end foot is on the machine already, and that is your monogram foot. Now let's go through your machine. You have your start and stop button, reverse stitch, your reinforcement stitch, your needle position, scissors, your um, presser foot up and down, control button, which controls your speed, and your automatic threader. When your machine is turned on, this is what's going to appear on the screen. Sewing, embroidery, embroidery unit. We're going to hit sewing. And we're going to go through the different buttons here. This is your needle position. This is your utility stitches, character decorative stitches, screen lock, and home page. This highlighted button here shows you that we are on the regular utility stitches. There's three pages and you're on page one. Here's your scroll key. We have additional stitches, buttonholes and mending. And this shows you how to sew vertical, horizontal and diagonal in two different stitches, your regular stitch and your zigzag stitch, and your quilting stitches, which shows you 
that you have two pages and you're on the first page. Over here, we have your pivot key, your back stitch or reverse key, scissor, free motion, mirror image, needle one or your twin needle. Right here is your image key and your pocket key. And what your pocket key is, is when you create stitches in either stitching or embroidery, you can save them into your pocket. Your width key to your length key, left and right shift, and tension. On the side of your machine, you have your on and off switch, your power cord, your foot control, your connection for your cable to your computer, and your USB stick. Now let's go through your accessory tray. You have 715 built-in stitches with your machine. You have the J foot or the zigzag foot. You have your A foot, which is your buttonhole foot. G, which is your overcast foot. N, which is your monogramming and decorative stitching foot. R, which is your blind stitch foot, I, which is your zipper foot, M, which is your button fitting foot, and you get a seam ripper. This is your clock key, your presser foot needle exchange key, any questions that you would have, this is your sewing machine help key, and this right here is your machine setting mode key. Okay, now we're going to fill a bobbin. I'm gonna take my thread and put it on my spool pin, and I'm gonna use the small spool cap. I'm gonna take my thread, and I'm just gonna follow the directions right here. One, two, take some of the thread. Here's my bobbin, and I'm going to wrap it around, oh, about six times. One, two, three, four five, six. I'm going to put it right here on my bobbin pin. And right here is a little cutter. I'm going to take this thread and I'm just going to cut like this and then clip this on. Okay. Now on my screen, it shows me my bobbin winding. I'm going to hit start. Once I hear, hit start, it's going to fill my bobbin. And if I only wanted a little bit of bobbin, I could stop it to how much I need. But I'm gonna fill the whole bobbin because I like to have full bobbins when I'm doing a project. It releases, I'm gonna lift my bobbin up like so. And that same little cutter right there, I'm gonna to use to cut and my bobbin is completed. Now we're gonna thread the machine. I'm gonna put my thread on my spool pin I'm gonna use the small spool cap, and then I'm gonna follow the numbers that are right here. And I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Then I'm gonna go six, seven, and right on the side of the machine, there's a little cutter that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna cut my thread. I'm gonna to go to my automatic threader. It's gonna thread my machine for me. Okay, then I'm going to pop open the bobbin cover. I'm going to put in my bobbin that we already filled. And you always wanna make sure that your thread is to the left of your bobbin. I drop it down. I always hold it with my finger so that it makes it easier for me to just grab the thread and just follow the arrows, go around, and there's a little cutter right there is gonna cut my thread for me. And then I'm gonna put the bobbin case back on and I'm ready to sew. Now we're gonna go into the embroidery section of your machine. On the top here, you have embroidery patterns, brother exclusive patterns, floral alphabet patterns, character patterns, frame patterns, bobbin works, Right here is your pattern saved in the machine memory, pattern saved on a USB stick, 
and pattern saved on the computer. Right here, this is very important, you always want to press this button when rem before removing your embroidery unit. Before we put the embroidery foot on the machine, I want to go over a few things. Every foot has a letter on it. This one has the letter W, which is your embroidery foot. It so many times gets confused with the letter O, which is your free motion foot. So you always want to make sure that you have your W foot on to embroider and not your O foot. Over here, you'll see this lever right here. You just unscrew this to release your needle when changing your needle. Make sure it's tight because every so often when you're sewing, the um, the motion of your, of your foot, your embroidery foot, has a tendency to loosen this a little bit. Not a lot, but every so often, I just like to make sure that it's tight. To take your foot off, there's a little lever back here. It's a black lever, lever, uh, lever. You're just going to push in and the foot comes out. Now this is your J foot, and you'll see that there's a J on there. Okay, now I'm gonna fill my bobbin and put my bobbin, my pre-wound bobbin into my bobbin case. I like using a pre-wound bobbin when I'm embroidering. Um, I just like a pre-wound bobbin. As you can see, it's, it's, there's more thread on there and it's tighter than creating your own bobbin. Now it depends, because if I am making something that I want the back to show, um, I will use a pre-wound bobbin. But I'm gonna take and I'm gonna just follow those arrows again, that little cutter that's right there. I'm just gonna cut my thread and put my bobbin cover on top. Now it's time to change and put on my embroidery foot. And remember what I said, with my embroidery foot, I made sure that I picked up the W. That's my embroidery foot. I'm just gonna take that little release button and I'm gonna push in and my, button comes, my uh, foot comes off. And then right over here is a screw. I'm gonna loosen the screw a little bit with my flat um, screwdriver here and I'm just gonna just loosen it a little bit and that gives me the opportunity to just take off the ankle. You can see, just like this, there's your ankle for all of my sewing feet. And what I usually do is I put it up on top in the tray so that I don't lose it. Then you're gonna see right here, this indentation right here, is where I want to go, right where that screw is. And I'm gonna hold it now with, let me loosen that a little bit. I'm gonna hold it with my right hand here and I'm gonna just hold onto it real tight. And I'm gonna just make sure that it's on nice and straight as I'm turning the screw. And then I'm gonna take my screwdriver again and just tighten it a little bit. You don't want it too tight, but you want it enough so that it's not going to move. And now I'm ready to embroider. Now we're ready to embroider. I grabbed the four by four hoop, and I just wanna show you a little bit about the hoop. This is the four by four, and here's a screw that I'm just gonna loosen up just a little bit so that I can pop up the frame. One thing that I wanna go over is you wanna to remember to, that there's a right way and a wrong way for the frames. These little notches right here, okay, you have four of them, are going to line up with the little arrows that are on your hoop, okay? So I cut a piece of nine by nine fabric, and I also have tearaway um, stabilizer. And I like to, when I buy my stabilizer, um, the package, I like to put the package inside so that I know what kind of stabilizer I'm using and what kind it is. I also have these little, um, oh, little clips that say tear away, and I put them in my um, little cubby hole. So I'm gonna take my stabilizer and my fabric, I'm gonna line it up with my hoop, I'm gonna press down, and just make sure everything is in place, 
And sometimes you just gotta take the corner of your hand there and make sure it's in. I want it to be tight as a drum. I'm gonna tighten that up just a little bit. Now, remember when you're doing towels and you're doing um, and, the, uh, and you're doing um, a t-shirt, the thickness is, is different from one to the other. So you've gotta be very careful when you go and you hoop your um, project. Okay, now it's time to embroider. And I have my embroidering machine here in front of me. And I have my accessory tray that I'm gonna take off, like so. Take that off, put it behind. And then whenever I put my um, embroidery unit on my machine, I like to just close my machine, grab my embroidery unit, and I'm going to lift it up, put it inside, and my embroidery unit's on. Now, the one thing that you always want to make sure that you do is you want to make sure that your embroidery machine, when it's um, put together, your machine and your embroidery unit, that it's on a flat surface. You don't want it wobbling on your table. You want a flat surface. So we're going to open, I'm going to open up the machine. And I'm going to, right here, it's going to tell me that the carriage is going to move. So I'm gonna hit okay. And my, car my carriage is gonna go into position. Okay. I, embroid I have embroidery thread, which is 60 weight thread in my machine. And when you go in with embroidery, this is um, a way that you're going to just get whatever has, whatever the machine has that's built in. Embroidery edit is taking your embroidery um, designs and editing them. Okay, so now we're gonna go into embroidery and we are gonna go into the designs that are already built in. And we're gonna look at all the different ones. There's five different pages and it scrolls down to all the different designs. And we are going to choose one of the designs out of here. Let's choose this heart. You see the hearts in there? You see that it has the different um, sizes of hoops right here? So it tells you whether or not it's going to fit on um, that hoop, your design. So what we're gonna do is I have, I have our hoop right here all ready to go. And you're gonna see that there is like a little lever right here, okay, that's going to fit into the groove of your machine right here. And, I, and there's an arrow that's gonna tell you how to do that. And I'm gonna put my hoop into my machine and I'm going to click it down. Now it's in position and it won't go anywhere, okay? So now I'm going to look at my machine and I'm gonna see that this can fit into that four by four hoop. So now we're going to, you're gonna see right here, I'm gonna hit embroidery, okay? It's going to tell me how many stitches, it's gonna tell you a uh, color as well. I put in blue, the machine doesn't know what color um, you're putting in there, so you can use your own imagination with that. So I'm just going with the blue thread. It tells me here that it's in the four by four frame, so I'm okay. Then I am going to, everything is all ready to go. I'm going to put the foot down and there's a green arrow here that's going to tell me to go ahead and, and um, stitch that out. Now I don't have the uh, foot control on it, on the machine because I don't need it. So we're going to hit the green arrow and there your design is gonna um, start to stitch out. And you're gonna see how it goes very easily. And this is a 60 weight embroidery thread that um, you wanna use with your embroidery. And you can see how nice it's doing it. It tells you um, the um, uh, inches on here. It also tells you that I have the hoop on. It tells me that it's gonna take six minutes for it to um, 
stitch out. And it also tells me up here my stitch count. On here, you're gonna see that there is scissors, okay? So it's gonna tell you that it's going to cut my, um, my embroidery um, thread on the um, bobbin. Right here is your needle up and down. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna tell me if it should stop, I can literally go in and go right to the stitch, to where it's started to stitch. I have my memory here. If I wanted to keep this um, uh, as a um, design, I could do it in my memory. And then also right over here is um, your uh, basting stitch. And you can see how nice it is stitching out. Look how beautiful that's stitching. You can see all the details of the heart with the flowers and how pretty that looks. And this is a built-in pattern that's built right into your machine. You can hear how quiet it is. Okay, now it is finishing up and you can see right here on the stitches um, that it's coming to the 45 88 in stitches and when it's done there you go and it's all done finishing sewing I'm gonna hit okay and then I'm gonna lift up this tab here and pull out the hoop and there you go isn't that beautiful and the stitching is just very very pretty now, remember when I talked about the editing? We're gonna put this back in, okay? And we're gonna go over here to the screen. Okay, I'm gonna go to the screen here. And I am going to go home. I finished my pattern. So I'm gonna say okay. I'm gonna hit embroidery, edit. So I'm gonna go up back up here and I'm gonna scroll down till I find the heart again, right here, okay? And I know that my heart is put right over here in the, um, in the middle, because I didn't um, move anything, so I know that it's in the middle. I'm gonna hit set, okay? And then I'm gonna add, I'm gonna say add, okay? And I wanna add a name. And here's your different fonts that you have. You actually have two pages of different fonts. My favorite is this one right here, okay? And I am going to say I want it to be all in caps. I'm gonna hit A. And do I want it um, large, medium, or small? I'm gonna say I want it large, okay? And I'm gonna set, okay, I'm gonna set it. And then you see that there is um, arrows and I'm gonna just go down like this go over to the side like this go down a little bit more all right and well now I decided you know what I don't want it that large so I am gonna hit size and I'm gonna just make it go down a little bit like that all right, and then I'm gonna close it. And I'm gonna move this A over to here, like that. And I'm just gonna put the initial A. Now I want to embroider, change to a larger, so see, see, it's telling me that I need to have a larger embroidery frame. So I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna make that A go up a little bit more because apparently what's happening is it's going outside of where it can stitch, hit embroidery, and now I'm okay. Then I'm going to 
I know that the A is right there, but now remember, I had put in the heart. So now I'm gonna go here, and I want the second one. So now I wanna go to the A. So what I did is I hit the thread that said plus, that took me to the A, because I already put the heart in. So this is a way that you can add onto your embroidery, and you're able to just put how you want it in there. And I want the A to go right there. So now I'm gonna close it, and I'm gonna hit my um, red button here because I'm ready to embroider. It says, use the presser foot, lift your button to lower the presser foot. I'm gonna close this, I'm gonna lower my presser foot, the green light is on, and I'm ready to go. That's how easy it is that the machine tells you when you haven't done this, the next step. So now we're gonna put the A on. And now you see that the A is being embroidered right next to the heart. Look how pretty that looks. embroidery out of your hoop. So I'm going to lift up the latch right here, pull this out like so, and now I have my embroidery with the letter A. To pop it out, you just are going to take your, your um, hoop, hold it like this. I just take my thumb, my thumbs, and I just pop it out. My hoop comes off, and there's my design. And this is really nice. You can make a pocket out of it and put it on a tote bag. Um, you can, um, if you were doing a uh, baby's bib maybe, you could do a bib and put the letter A right there for the baby's name. Um, you could take your um, crystals, because I like to bling a lot of things, and you could actually um, put crystals in here if you wanted to get um, a little bit creative. But there you go. There's your embroidery in your embroidery machine. Now, if I wanted to save this because I really liked the way it looked, I would go into my memory, like so, and I'm gonna put it in the pocket of my memory. And now it is saved in there. So now, if I wanted to go into it again, I would go home, go into um, embroidery, look into my pocket, and look, there it is, pull it up, and I could use it again. That's how easy it is. Now I'm gonna go home, hit okay. Now, when I am ready to take my embroidery unit off my machine, I'm gonna go into embroidery. And remember, I said about the always press what right before you're removing your embroidery unit. I'm gonna hit that, hit okay. And what that does is it puts your embroidery unit to sleep. And then when you take the embroidery unit off, it's um, all set and ready to go. One thing you wanna remember is when you're walking with your embroidery unit, you wanna walk with it with two hands, one holding this side, the other holding the other side of the unit. You never wanna carry it with this going down. Um, uh, that's, that's not the proper way to do it. Okay, and you've done embroidery in your um, embroidery machine with your um, Brother VM5200. Once you've taken your project out of your hoop, now it's time to take and just tear off your um, stabilizer. So I've tore off my stabilizer. You can see how easy that was to tear off. And then if you're real fussy, I am, you can take those little pieces out just like that. They come out and you'll see how easy it just tears right off. And then it makes it real nice and, um, and smooth with your, um, project. Now, the one thing that I do like to do, and I made a, a habit of it, is you always want to um, iron your embroidery once you're finished. 
When you do that, it makes your embroidery pop out. And there you go. You have a beautiful design that you've created on your embroidery machine. Okay, I have a couple of bibs here that I wanna show you that I created on my um, embroidery machine. The first one, this is a um, design that I took from the computer, downloaded it into my USB stick, and then my USB stick, I put it into the machine. This is, um, of course, is a baby's bib with the letter G in it. And again, I like to bling, and I put a little bit of some pearls on there just to dress it up a little bit for the baby. The other one I did is just doing text, and it just says, text me, we can do lunch. But it's just real easy to do, created it in my machine, and then um, just downloaded it um, uh, into my USB stick, and then again, into the machine. Now, what I do is I used the five by seven frame. I put in uh, my stabilizer. And then that ba basting stitch that I was talking about, I basted it around my design so that I didn't have to hoop my bib. And the reason why I didn't want to hoop my bib is I didn't want any um, hoop burn. And then once it's done, you just take the basting stitch off and there's your um, and there's your bit. And again, I um, uh, like to uh, iron everything that I do. So that's just one of the tips and ideas that I have for you in creating um, a special design, a personal design for um, the special baby in your life.